Hey, how's everyone doing? In this video, what I'd like to do is show you guys how you can take your Android Studio projects and upload them to GitHub. Now, I usually get a ton of requests to do this, and since we just finished the Tic-Tac-Toe Board app about a few weeks ago, I figured I'd upload this app specifically to GitHub and show you guys how to do it. So, let's get started. Alright, so to get started, the first thing we're going to have to do is install Git. Now this is what's going to allow Android Studio to take our projects and put them out on GitHub. So to show you guys how to do this, I'm going to open up a Windows virtual machine and within here I'm going to open up Google and just type in git download. Hit enter and then these results should be shown and then we're going to click this first one downloads-git and then this web page should be presented to you. I'll link this website down in the description below. Now, once this web page is open, we're gonna come over to the download selection and all you have to do is select the operating system that you're on. In my case, I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna click the Windows button and the download should begin automatically for you. Once this is finished installing, we can run the executable and then we're just gonna hit yes. And then once we hit yes, this window should be presented to us, this one right here. It's like the setup wizard. And there are a ton of screens here, so bear with me. But the most important section that we're gonna see is the path to where we're gonna install Git. I would highly recommend leaving this as the default path because Android Studio can auto detect Git and you won't have to mess with any of these settings. So I'm gonna leave this as the default path and then I'm gonna hit next about a million times because there are a ton of windows here. I'm gonna leave everything as the default value though. And then when we get to the final section, all you have to do is click install. And then once you're presented with this section on the setup wizard, all I'm gonna do is uncheck this and then click finish. And now you should have Git installed on your computer. Now we can come back over to Android Studio. And within here, we're gonna to check to make sure that it actually auto detected where Git was downloaded. So to do this, we're gonna go to the far left, click file. We're gonna come down to settings. And within here, we're looking for this section right here called version control expand this and then click Git. And then if you come over to the top of this section here, it should say auto detected the path of where the Git executable file is. If it couldn't find it, all you have to do is click this little file button here and then pick where you installed Git. You're just looking for this git.exe file. So once you've located that, you can click test and then the version of Git that's installed on your computer should be displayed right about here. Okay, so if you got that all set up, it is the hardest part of this whole video. And if you guys do have any questions or if you're just having trouble getting this to work, leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out with this. Now, once you do got that done, click apply and then okay. And then the next step is actually creating the repository on GitHub. So let's come over back to Google. And if you open up GitHub, sign into your account and you can click this little cap button here to be presented with this section of GitHub. And all you have to do is come over to the far left and click new. It should be this green button here. And then you're gonna name your repository. I'm just gonna call it Tic-Tac-Toe App. And then I'm gonna keep everything else as the default. I'm gonna keep it as public, but I think within the last year, you are able to make your repositories private without having a paid account. So I'm gonna click create repository and I'm gonna keep the page that it shows us up because we're gonna need this link later on. So let's come back over to Android Studio and we can come up to the top toolbar and we're looking for VCS, this button right here. Click this and if we come down, we can click enable version control integration, Click that and you're gonna have this drop down. Make sure you select Git and then click OK. And then all of your files should turn red. Don't worry, that's just because we haven't uploaded them to GitHub yet. The next step is coming over to the far left. Instead of having Android selected, we're gonna click Project and then we're gonna right click on the first folder, come down to Git and then we're gonna add all those files. So it's gonna add them all to our version control system and then all of your files should turn green from there. Now, once they turn green, we're gonna come back over to the far left panel, right click on the topmost folder again, come down to Git, and then we're gonna come over and click Commit Directory. So once you click that button, you should be presented with this window and Android Studio is gonna make you add a comment to it. I'm just gonna call it Tic-Tac-Toe App. Probably not the best comment, but it'll work. Come down to the bottom right and click the Commit button. So this is gonna commit all those files that we haven't uploaded to Android Studio. And I'm just gonna click commit. Don't worry about that warning there. So now that we have all those files committed, what we need to do now is push them out onto GitHub. So if we come back up to the VCS button, we can click this, come down to Git, scroll all the way down to push. And now what we need to do is define the remote. This is the repository that we're gonna be uploading to. So click this button and within here, we just need the URL to the repository. So remember we kept that page open here. So I'm just gonna copy the URL to this repository, come back over to Android Studio and paste it in here. 
click OK. And then once you have that URL added in, you should see a list of files that weren't added to the repository in the far right, and they should all be green. Now, once you do have that URL pasted in, all you have to do is click push. Give it a second and it'll upload those files to GitHub. And to check to make sure this worked, we could come back over, refresh this page, and you can see all the files from our Android Studio project are now on GitHub. All right, so I think that's it for this video. All the files are on GitHub now, and you are gonna go through the same process to upload more files as you continue working on your project. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below, or maybe I went a little bit too fast during a certain section. Let me know down in the comments and I can help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.